So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video we're going to talk about calculation groups, we're going to talk about translating Power BI models, we're going to talk about uh, perspectives, I'll tell you what this is in just a minute. Let's get started the video. Okay, so here's the thing, on the March Power BI desktop update there was a one of the features that they released it was this enhanced date set metadata and you could click on here and then you wouldn't see anything that happened but I, I told you on the video that I didn't know exactly what it was about I would find out and I will tell you and this is the video for it so a lot of people were very very excited and I have some of the features here that would explain why Let's start with the first feature. The first feature is the calculation groups in Power BI. This is a very, very, very cool. And this is something that Mark Russo has been advocated for the longest time for Power BI. And it is finally here. But you can see here to where it is Power BI Premium. So that's the cost of it, right? So you will have to have Premium. I don't know if it's going to go through Pro for what I've heard, not likely, but still, I'm going to show you. This is super cool. I, I, I am aware that it's like showing candy outside of school and not giving anything, but you have to know about it and vote for it for it to, for it to come to Pro, right? So calculation groups is actually very, very cool. You can see here that there is a table called time intelligence and then there is a time calculation column and as you drop it inside it will create all the time intelligence measures in the world based on the measure that you have on values which is in this case is sales. So the way it works is with these DAX functions. You have select measure, selected measure name, is selected measure, selected measure from a string. And what you do is you create the calculations, the time intelligence calculations as normal, but instead of putting sales here, some of sales you put selected measure. And whatever measure you have on your table, that's the one that it will get picked. So if you say all sales, profit, or a discount, or whatever you want, okay? So that makes calculations super super cool when you have the same type of calculations over different metrics time intelligence is the best explanation for that you want to have year over year of profits of margins of sales of yeah all kinds of stuff and nowadays you have to you know copy everything and copying measures in power bi is not the easiest thing in the world so this will allow for doing those types of calculations much, much faster. It is only available on premium. Mm. So super cool. If you have premium, rejoice. Before you put this XML tag, just wait until the end because I have to tell you something, another cost of the XML. But uh, at least this gives you an idea of what it is. The next thing, one of the things that a lot of people have asked me about and I have a video on what you can do a workaround of the translation but it's translation of tabular models and what you will be able to do is to pick the models and then you can add translation you can see here for example that you have a table that is called deem customer but you will call it for the French language client and product something like that I don't know French so it will allow you to translate your models so then depending on who is watching it you will or you know you could have like I want to load my model in English, in French, in Spanish or in whatever so this is super cool. Again this feature Power BI Premium only <laughs> okay the next one is perspectives again Power BI Premium only perspectives is I think of it as an extra layer of your model. So let's say that you have a table and then you see, for example, you want your sales just to see certain columns while marketing you want to see other columns. You don't want to present all your gigantic tables to everybody where there might be columns or measures that they do not apply to them. And you know, these gigantic models are very hard to work with from a business perspective. So perspectives allows you to show the same table in different ways to different people basically so you can create a sales perspective which is how the model would look like for sales or 
uh, marketing perspective, so how the model would look like for where. And this is available in Azure Analysis Services. I've seen it before. And now it comes to Power BI Premium, not Pro. Um, of the three, this is the one I'm less sad of, even if this is very, very useful. There are other ways to do these. The translations and the calculation groups, I really hope they reconsider and they give us to Pro. So now, here's the thing. Before you go running and click on this XML thing, there are limitations when you click on that button. Here are some of the limitations. It says that um, these things, the upgrade will fail if you uh, want to add them afterwards. For example, like Python screens, custom connectors do not work with XML. Uh, you have some connectors here. Uh, you have, if you have Certain character combinations in column names won't work. And I actually, you know, I normally activate not all the features, but most of them so I can test them and then I can do the Power BI desktop reviews for you guys and pick the best of the best, in my opinion, anyway. And I actually take this box and one of my models broke when I tried to open it in the old version of Power BI. And it's just not a good Thing. So I'm going to stay clear from that because it's, it's just it's not good unless my customer has Power BI Premium. I'm not going to turn that thing on. EMK made a really wonderful post about it. Just it goes into detail like what happens. It says enable the enhanced date set metadata feature results in a reversible upgrade to the reports. And in Power BI report load is created Power BI desktop. Once the enhanced dataset metadata is enabled, are irreversible. So once you have created, you have created that set, and then you cannot go back. So if you want to do any Python stuff, forget about it. What happens? You will have to rebuild your models. So think twice before. I'm I'm guessing that obviously the benefits when it comes to um, calculation groups, translations are greater than using Python, in my opinion. Custom connectors, I don't know, that's, that's a hard one. Um, but they're in beta version. Hopefully they will fix all this stuff for, for those of you that have a premium capacity. So anyway, just wanted to let you know so you're aware of this stuff, okay? So let's move on to the Power BI exam question.